Uh, let's keep going and with the same exercise. However, uh, this time we are going to do the vertical, one of the vertical sections. Uh, and this is a very nice uh, representation uh, that, that shows us that uh, we need to do this uh, section uh, throughout the building with its near surrounding. It's very really important for us to uh, show, express the context, uh, both in plan and in section and in elevation as well. Uh, so uh, as you remember, we put uh, the AA section line uh, in our plan, on our plan uh, in the first part of this exercise. And uh, we have learned that that section line is something like the upper view of this uh, vertical uh, plane that cuts the building in half. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, it starts uh, it starts cutting the street first, this yielded street, and then the side wall and the garden wall. Uh, and as you can see here, it cuts through the uh, garden area, uh, the terrace, uh, and it goes up. Uh, through uh, to the uh, wall, through the wall, and uh, cuts through the roof uh, till the back street, the Oko Street uh, here. Uh, and uh, we need to separate them uh, and step inside and look uh, either towards this direction or this direction here. But uh, as you can remember, the, the little arrows in the plan, uh, they were pointing to this direction here. So we will be looking there. Uh, and uh, please do not forget the position of this vertical cutting plane uh, is very important uh, uh, so that the, the position of the section line in the plan, uh, if, if we change its position, uh, then uh, it will be cutting some other things, some other surfaces of the building and uh, we need to uh, change our drawing. So uh, it's important uh, that we need to find the proper position that gives the most information about the building uh, because uh, we are going to give one or two sections or uh, maybe three sections if we need. But uh, if, we, if we position them uh, carefully, then we will be giving lots of information about this section, uh, about the spaces of the building. Uh, so this is what we need to do. We, we, we can continue uh, drawing the same paper. Uh, we can use this upper part here. Uh, and you know that this is the uh, cutting plane here. Uh, please do not, uh, do not think that this is uh, just the line here. Uh, it's a continuous plane, uh, even if we draw this line partially, uh, because I don't want it to uh, be mixed with uh, these other lines and the upper view of the people and the texts. So I just uh, do a partial drawing there. However, we know that it's a continuous plane, the upper view, the top view of the, of the continuous plane. And everything that it intersects means that it is cutting it in, in, in the vertical direction. So uh, we need to, uh, here we need to uh, uh, draw, start drawing the, with the surfaces that we cut uh, and uh, move on to the surfaces that we see, like we did in the plan. Uh, so this is the first thing uh, here. Uh, we are cutting the sealed street, the sidewalk, the, uh, as you can see, the uh, garden wall, the garden area, the soil area, the terrace. Uh, and we, uh, the, the terrace is a, actually a continuous floor surface. Uh, it starts at here at this point and goes uh, to the end. Uh, to the back terrace. And uh, after that, we are cutting the steps, uh, the walkway and the sideway and the school street uh, as well. So uh, by using our guiding lines, we can uh, transfer the width here. Uh, first, uh, uh, we can just uh, leave a one centimeter space uh, and start drawing this line. Uh, and because it's a cutting, uh, line, I, mean, I need to draw uh, it uh, with very thick and black lines. Uh, so this is the uh, cut surface of the Yildiz Street. Uh, and I can just move uh, towards the upper surface, the upper direction, 
for 1.5 millimeters to indicate uh, this, uh, the height of this sidewall. Uh, it's uh, in reality, it can be just 15 centimeters and uh, cut through the sidewall. Uh, and here, this is the uh, point where the garden wall starts. Uh, so I can transfer the uh, width of the garden wall and this time uh, think that uh, it can be a 50 centimeter or one millimeter uh, height wall. Uh, so I need to go upwards for uh, five millimeters uh, and uh, go towards this direction and then go downwards again. This is the cut surface of the wall uh, and then keep going for the uh, soil. Uh, and after that, this is the this is the point where the terrace starts. And as you can remember, there's this level difference between the terrace and uh, the uh, the terrace and the soil. Uh, it, it's uh, 45 centimeters, so I need to go upwards uh, for 4.5 millimeters and keep going till the end of the terrace here, because this is just one floor area. It doesn't matter if it's outdoor or indoor, it's just the ground floor itself. And then uh, here I can uh, move 45 uh, centimeters downwards to find the uh, level of the sidewall uh, and it'll go uh, 1.5 millimeters downwards to for the level of the school street. But please uh, notice that I forgot to indicate the stairs uh, at this image here. Uh, so this is what you need to do during your exercise. You need to transfer uh, the width of the uh, stairs here as well. And uh, you remember that each stair has a 15 centimeter height. Uh, so uh, you need to draw the uh, section of the stairs like this, uh, and there shouldn't be uh, a line here. So this is this this was my mistake. Uh, please make your drawing like this uh, here. Uh, and after that, I can move uh, to the, the cut surface of the wall, the window parapet, the glass surface, the window surface, and there is this little wall uh, above the uh, glass area. Uh, so I can transfer this uh, width here. Uh, the height of the parapet uh, can be uh, can be ninety centimeters uh, because uh, this this is a common uh, standard uh, dimension. Uh, you can think it like that. It, just imagine there is this man standing next to this window. Uh, and when you have a, a 90 centimeter parapet height, it will be uh, uh, like at around his waist level. Uh, and this is, this is a good uh, dimension because we want to keep the man uh, uh, falling uh, from this window. And, uh, Normally, this is the ground floor. It doesn't matter, but imagine that this is uh, a, a space in the fifth floor. So we don't want the man to fall down uh, through the glass. So we can uh, take his waist level, which is uh, 90 uh, centimeters. Uh, and after that, this is the end of the uh, wall. As you can see, the parapet wall. Uh, after that, I start cutting the glass uh, surface. Uh, here, I can transfer it. Uh, and it is a, a one meter high window. Uh, the height of the window is one meter. Uh, and after that, uh, there is this uh, small wall, but uh, I don't know its height because uh, it, uh, it raises uh, to the uh, below surface, the lower surface of the roof. Uh, and the roof is an inclined uh, plane. So uh, I don't know the exact height, uh, either I can do a mathematical uh, calculation uh, or I can first draw the roof uh, and uh, the, the, the wall height will appear there. Uh, so uh, let's move to the wall, uh, to the roof. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, this is the E of the roof. It starts at this point uh, and it has an, a certain inclination. Uh, and when it, the roof reaches the uh, ridge part, this is the ridge line, 
uh, it will uh, start to move downwards. The inclination will change till the other EU uh, line. So I need to know uh, the level of this EU here, the, the down part, the lower part of the EU, uh, it's 2.1 meter high, higher than this uh, surface of the ground floor. Uh, so this is what I can do. As you remember in the plan, uh, we indicated the EU with the dashed lines. Uh, it, it has a projection uh, towards the front side of the building so that uh, people will not get wet uh, during the rain. Uh, so uh, I can just uh, transfer this line here by using guiding lines, uh, this, this dashed line, and I can measure 2.1 meter or uh, two centimeters and one millimeter uh, in one over a hundred scale and find this point here. Uh, this is the first step. Uh, this is the uh, lowest part of the EU here. Uh, so uh, it will uh, have an inclination like this. Uh, and if I want to draw this line, either I need to know the angle here, or uh, I can have uh, another measurement, another information, uh, something like this. The inclination of this uh, roof is, uh, let's say that 30%. Uh, uh, this is an information that has been given to me uh, and uh, it'll be easier for me to draw the uh, roof with this information, a 30% inclination. So this is what I need to do. Uh, I find the lowest part, the lowest point of the EU, and it will start to raise towards the, uh, till the uh, rich part. So uh, this is what I need to do since it says, 30% uh, inclination, uh, I can draw a, a horizontal line a ten cent, uh, or one centimeter or 10 centimeter line and then uh, raise, when, when I find this corner here, raise vertically for three millimeters. So uh, you get that, uh, it, it means that I need to raise 30 uh, centimeters, millimeters, meters for each 100 centimeters. Uh, you, you go uh, horizontally for a meter, you need to raise at least 30 centimeters. Uh, if you go uh, one centimeter, you need to raise for three millimeters. And find this another, the second corner here. Uh, so uh, when you combine the, your first corner and your second corner, your second point, uh, this line will have an inclination of 30 percent. Uh, this is something that we can use uh, easily, and this line needs to continue till the uh, rich part, uh, as you can see here. And after that, uh, it uh, changes its direction. However, it's still, it still has a 30% inclination. So I need to do the same. This time I can go downwards for three millimeters or three centimeters if you want. Uh, if you prefer three millimeters, then you need to go one centimeter horizontally. If you prefer three centimeters, then it, it means that you, you need to go at least for 10 centimeters uh, so that you, you can get this percentage. Uh, find the second uh, point and combine your first and second points. And there you go, you will have your, uh, the, the, the below surface, the uh, down surface of the uh, roof. Uh, and it, con it, is, it, it needs to continue t to the uh, E uh, here. Uh, so uh, I, and now, uh, since it's the, uh, this, this line here, uh, I need to uh, indicate the thickness of the roof. And it's, again, like the walls, it's, again, just a 20 centimeter thickness. So I need to uh, draw two millimeter uh, 
rectangle. And this is how I need to do that. I can uh, use my set square uh, and to find uh, perpendicularly uh, to find uh, two millimeters. Uh, and then again, I need to do one more time. Uh, again, two millimeters, and I need to combine these two lines. Uh, so that here, as you can see, I can have uh, a perpendicular uh, rectangle to indicate the EU here and here. Yes. Uh, so uh, once you finish the roof, uh, you can uh, do the wall as well. Uh, and uh, you don't need to do any mathematical uh, calculation. Uh, it just it will just uh, be there. Uh, and uh, now we can move to the other part. Uh, the, the, there is this uh, door surface uh, and another wall uh, here. Uh, and the height of the door is the same with uh, the upper level of the window, which is 2.10 meters. This is again, a very standard height for the doors. So uh, I can just measure a two centimeter, one millimeter height here and draw a wall, the section of the wall here. Uh, and uh, I can move on uh, here, uh, we get the steps now. Uh, and uh, uh, I need to check if there is anything uh, left that I need to draw the cut surfaces. Uh, and uh, I realize that I draw everything so I can move on to the surface that I see. Uh, again, step by step, I can go. Uh, like there's this wall surface uh, here uh, with the window. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, width of the wall. It starts at this point and it keeps going to this corner. Uh, so this is what I need to transfer. Uh, and uh, the, the window is here and I can get the height, uh, the height of the parapet wall and the height of the window uh, from this section. Uh, however, this time I need to use my middle thickness, middle darkness line weight uh, because these are the things that I see uh, here. And as you can see, uh, this is the uh, front view of the window and the wall surface. Uh, and there is this uh, wall surface behind the door opening uh, and uh, another wall surface behind the uh, glass, glass area uh, here. So I can it's indicated as with these lines in the plan, so I can transfer it down uh, and uh, use my middle thickness, middle darkness line type, line weight uh, for these surfaces here. Uh, and please do not forget, if you leave these openings, these these uh, small gaps uh, to indicate the level difference in your plan on your plan, you need to do the same with the section to indicate that there is this interval difference between this cut surface and this surface at the back. Uh, so you need to leave the same spaces here, 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 here uh, to indicate that. Uh, and as you can see, this wall uh, uh, raises uh, a little higher than the surface of the roof. Uh, and this is also called a parapet wall. However, this is the parapet of the roof. Uh, so uh, we need to draw the front view of this wall. Uh, and it starts here, as you can see with this wall. Uh, and it uh, raises uh, for 30 centimeters above uh, the surface of the roof. Uh, here, here. So uh, we need to do the same. We need to use our set square and uh, perpendicularly, we need to measure a 30 centimeter or we can say three millimeters uh, in our drawing uh, to find these lines here. Uh, and this is the uh, red surface that we see when we stand here, uh, the roof parapet. Uh, and after that, uh, we can move a little bit further and there appears this uh, front view of the garden wall. 
uh, and this part here, and there's this tree at the back. So this is what I need to do. I need to start drawing this line uh, and keep going till here. Uh, so I can transfer it uh, to uh, draw the front view of this wall, garden wall. And I can use the width of the tree, the top view of the tree uh, to create the front view of the same tree. Uh, and I need to do uh, a similar uh, drawing so that people can understand they are the same tree. Uh, it's the top view, it's the front view of the same object, the same uh, tree. Uh, and like the tree, I can uh, draw the uh, views of these people uh, like this one uh, here. Uh, and there's this man with the suitcase. So uh, I can draw them. Uh, and uh, like we did in the plan, we need to uh, show all the levels in the section as well. However, uh, this time the symbol uh, changes a little bit. Uh, I told you that this uh, you can think uh, this uh, symbol as this uh, plump up. Uh, uh, the, 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 this object uh, that we use in construction sites to, uh, to uh, control the uh, surface of the wall, the vertical surface, and this is a very heavy brass uh, object uh, with a string. Uh, so when you uh, put it like that, uh, it will point uh, directly. This, this line will be a, a, a truly vertical line. Uh, you can imagine that this uh, symbol that we use in the plan uh, is its upper view with an additional uh, 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 plus, uh, sign uh, here with a, a long arm. Uh, and uh, now in the section, you can uh, think uh, you are drawing the front view of the same object this time. Uh, so you can create uh, by using this uh, width that you draw uh, on the plan, you can transfer it uh, and you, you can create a small triangle uh, and another line over that. Uh, and you can use this line to write your uh, level. Uh, and since this uh, is the uh, zero uh, level, the origin level, the upper surface of the ground floor, I need to write the same thing. The, uh, I need to do this uh, plus and minus uh, sign uh, 0, 0.00 uh, to indicate that this is a, uh, the level of the ground floor in meters. So I need to give this level here. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, level that I give in the section, the, the, the upper uh, level of the floor. Uh, and I need to give uh, the levels of this section of this side, this facade, and this one here. Uh, the important things like uh, the upper level of the parapet wall, it's uh, plus 0 0.90. Uh, it's 90 centimeters higher than this zero level. And I need to give the uh, lower uh, line of the EU, and, or, or we can say the upper level of the window, which is uh, plus 2.10. Uh, it means that it's two meters and 10 centimeters higher than this level here. Uh, and I need to give the uh, level of the reach, uh, which I can measure with my set square. And this, the most highest part of the uh, the highest part of the roof parapet here, uh, which are plus 3.46 and plus 3.76. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, you, you cannot see, uh, but uh, here uh, we can look at this uh, part here. Uh, we need to uh, indicate this uh, level of this surface, which is minus uh, 0 0.45, uh, which means that it's 45 centimeters lower than this zero level. Uh, and these are the uh, levels of the section, uh, these parts here. I need to do the uh, levels for these parts as well, which uh, I can see when I stand at this, uh, at this point and look towards this direction, I can see the uh, upper part of the roof parapet, uh, the ridge level, they are the same. Uh, and uh, this time, uh, because there is just only a door there, I can just give the higher 
uh, highest level of the door. Uh, and I have this zero here, and I can indicate that it's also uh, minus 0 0.45 uh, for this sidewall uh, here. Uh, and I can write the names of the spaces uh, here. This is this garden space, terrace area, exhibition hall, uh, terrace area again, and another garden. Uh, and I can uh, do the hatch, the same hatch, uh, to indicate all the surfaces that are being cut. Uh, and uh, please notice that uh, by doing this hatch, I'm filling this uh, rectangle the in, in, uh, inside of the rectangle here. Uh, however, uh, since there is no end for the ground, uh, it's all soil downwards. I don't need another line here, right? Uh, I don't do the line. Uh, I just uh, do the hatch without the line. Uh, and this will indicate that it's all soil. It goes downwards like that. Uh, and if you put the line, uh, then it means that there is something uh, with this thickness uh, that you are cutting it and there is something else uh, beneath it like you did here. Uh, and it will be misleading. Uh, there is nothing else uh, beneath this uh, surface. It's all soil. Everything is soil. Uh, Okay, uh, yeah, this is the end of our uh, section drawing.